Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rudez. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present the weekly contest 300. The problem that I have chosen this time is decode the message. I have already solved the rest of these problems of the contest. All these solutions are mentioned in the description below so do check them out. Let's try and understand this question. Here we are given two strings, one is key and another one is message. What do we need to do? We need to generate the map using this key and then we need to apply the same map over to this message in order in order to return the desired result so they have provided us with few rules i'll be talking about these rules as well as the algorithm to go about it why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it and even before that let's try and understand this question so here they have provided us with the key as the quick, space quick space brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and using this key they have generated this map and using this map they have uh, applied it to the message that was specified in the question. So V maps to T. So V maps to T, remember this. Then K maps to H. K maps to H. And B maps to, so B maps to Y. S maps to, let's see where is S. S maps to S. So the first word that got generated was this. Space remains as it is. And uh, the for, if you decode the rest of the strings using this map, then the final output would be this is a secret. So the problem reduces to generating the map appropriately from the key that is specified in the input question. So let's quickly walk through the presentation where I'll talk about how to generate the map using this key string. Decode the message, decode 2235. It's an easy level question on decode and I totally feel the same. And let's talk about the same key. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So the first character that we see happens to be T. What do we do? We create the map and as per the map, T should, start, since this is a starting word, this is the beginning of map creation, it will be mapped to A. So T would be mapped to A. The next character that will be used as value in the map would be B. So the next character in the input string happens to be H. So H maps to B. The next character that would be used as value in the map would be C. So E maps to C. E maps to C. The next character in the input string happens to be space. So we'll skip it up. The next character is Q. So Q would map to D. Next is U. So U would map to E. It, it's happening in synchronization one by one. So next is I. So I my maps to F. Next is C. C maps to G. Next is K. K maps to H. Next is B, Sp next is space, but we will not consider spaces. Next is B, B will map to I. Next is R, R will map to J. Next is O, O will map to K. Next is W, W will map to L. Next is N, N will map to K, L, M, M. Next is F, F will map to N. Next is O, O will map to, O, o is, has already been mapped to K. So the important part is we will not consider the mapping of O again because it has already been set as part of the map. So this was another important corner case that I wanted to highlight and that was the reason I kept on iterating and generating the maps like this till so far. Next of the values can be generated by you as well. Uh, so remember, once the key is already part of the map, it can't be reutilized. So this is the crux of the problem. And once we have generated the map, then the algorithm is really simple. You just need to use them as keys, iterate over the message, use them as keys and find the corresponding value in your map. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude it up. Remember, the values in the map are taken in synchronization one by one a b c d e f up till z so here i've created a map of size 26 characters because english in english there are only 26 characters i start the iteration over my key so as to generate my map and for filling in the values i start the iteration from i equals to zero so that this will help us generate the next available value that will be assigned in our map so if my i is less than 26 and my current character doesn't happen to be space 
and it, the current character i at i minus a is not part of the map that means no value has been set to it is equal to 0 then what we should be doing we should be setting map of i minus a to the character that comes in line as per the presentation so i plus a you cast it into a character and you increment the value of i for the next iteration for the uh, for the next assignment once you have done this uh, that means you have successfully created the map and moving ahead we create the answer string we iterate over the message we extract the value that exists in our map corresponding to the current character c and add it to the answer result once we have completed the iteration the value is stored in our answer so let's try this up accepted and the time complexity of this approach is order of length of uh, message and key length with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye